Hello, all of you out there in Ubuntu land. Today, I would like to show you how to get Codex installed to play encrypted DVDs and to play streaming QuickTime on Ubuntu 11.04. First thing you need to do is go to this particular website. Ubuntu.com slash community slash Medibuntu pound sign adding the repositories. When you get there, highlight this. This is the first one you want to highlight. There's other ones down below. So highlight this. Right click, click copy. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. Once you do that, you click on this button, then click more apps, and if it's not here in the most frequently used area, you click down here and you scroll down till you get to the terminal. You click on the terminal, you right click, you click paste, you press enter, then Then you press uh, your uh, enter in your password on the prompt, the one you use to log into your computer and install software via the Ubuntu Software Center. Then you press enter again and let it do its thing. In fact, I know I already did it, but I'm going to do it again just to show you. Paste. You click enter. It won't show up on the screen, so don't worry about that. Then you press the enter button. Gotta wait for it to finish. And it's finished. From there, you click on this button again. Go to more apps. Again, if the Synap you, you don't want the Ubuntu Software Center, go to sy the Synaptic Package Manager. You click on this if it's not in here. You type in your password. Then you click OK. If you like, you can double check on the repositories now. And right there, I have that clicked, uh, clicked off. Uh, I'm going to click the source code for the uh, thing. Maximize so you can click the close button. Once you do that, you want to reload. See, I have already done this once, so this is like doing it again, uh, twice. Then you can get things like Win32 Codex, which is necessary if you want to 
stream quick time. Now this you can get without adding the meta goo to. But this is uh what you have to use it for the lib DVD CSS2 which allows you to uh, play your store bought DVDs in there you just right click and you click for mark for installation I already have it installed so there you get the picture 